friends tracked your IP address. Yeah. And then called your dad. Yeah. That was so embarrassing. So, yeah. yeah can you dad. tell us about that story? Because that is like, woo. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. So bad. So I would go on like those free campsites, like Camp 4 or whatever. Mm-hmm. You go on there and you can just like stream live and they don't have to check your age. Like if you go to my free cams, you can't do it without like an ID check and everything. Right. Because that's, you're not allowed to get naked on the free side. Is that correct? I think you can, but you're not making money off it. It's just like you get on there for free. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I would, I would go in there and then like lure the guys to my MSN messenger, like Mm -hmm. back when like messenger was like super cool. Oh yeah. I remember. (laughs) So I would be, so I would tell the guys out, like I'll get naked for you if you add me here. And then once they were there, I'd be like, okay, just send me this much on PayPal. Mm Mm-hmm. And then, you know, they're already like wanting it. So they're, they send me the money and then I just do like a one-on-one cam show. Mm-hmm. And then I just would keep doing those and those. But while I was on um, the free site, that's where I think the guy must have gotten it from. Because then by the time my dad walked in on me, I was doing a one-on-one cam show. <laughs> so, like I hate reliving this. Oh. <laughs> and like, you know, I'm doing my solo show with my toy. And we're like, we live in a really old house. So yeah. there's there's no locks. Like the house was made like hundreds of years ago. It's old. Yeah. And he just bust through and was just like, get in my room. And I, I remember like flailing myself off the bed and like going on the floor and just like trying to cover myself, like so humiliated. Oh my God. And I did not, like, I did not want to have to go talk to him. And then he like repeated, the guy said, I'm watching your daughter fuck herself. And I was just like, it was so awkward. And like, that's about the time where I was like, I want to move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll do anything to move right now. I don't want to look at you in the eye. Yeah. How did he handle that? He, I mean, at this point, there was so many sexual things he already dealt with. Like, you know, I was the, I was seven the first time that he got like a phone call from someone's parents being like, your daughter had sex with this girl and my daughter was there and got scared. So like from, I remember him, he was, he'd sat me down. He's like, you will get arrested if you ever do that again. So yeah. I was so scared, but I was getting myself in a lot of sexual trouble. Right. My whole, like my whole life. So, right. I mean, I feel like honestly, like an, he kind of wasn't shocked. Right. Like, it wasn't like, what do you do? Like, it was just kind of like, you can't be doing this type of stuff. And like, they could show up at my house now. Like, so my dad was really worried because my two sisters still live there too. And he started worrying about everyone's safety if they tracked the number. Like, yeah. do they have the address? Is someone yeah. creepy going to show up? And yeah. that definitely really scared me too. 